The BP Solar X facility tour in Frederick, Maryland, November 2003. These are the notes that I took. Jefferson County residents toured the BP Solar X facility in Frederick, Maryland. In attendance were John Henry Dale, Michael Shore, and Walton Stowell Jr. and Sr. The following information is based on notes taken during the tour and official Solar X publications. Special thanks to Public Relations Representative Debbie Bergen. They did not allow photographs. Although SolarX is now owned by British Petroleum, the SolarX plant was owned by Amoco and Enron in the 1980s. Now BP Solar boasts that their projects group designed and supplied over 50,000 systems, totaling 70 megawatts, and managed over 25,000 installations. First on the tour was the casting room and the sizing room. The crystalline operations and tech center contained blocks of ingot, crystal X controllers, and a large cutting room, one into 25 bricks, casting station vats, an ingot crusher machine cranked away as loud speakers echoed in the docking bay. Terms such as silicon powder and top cut were discussed, and cylinders were cleaned with corrosive chemical bath. Next was the hot form. The wafer cutting room contained many purple, pink, orange earplugs, white suits, gray slop gloves, goo, and blue slippers. This is where template calibration for the solar cells took place also. Next, an airlock leads into a blue floor, where wafer separation, cleaning, and setting begin. Automated cleaning and etching stations occurred in glass tanks. Silicon nitride, 240 microns, equals 3 to 4 sheets thickness. A violet dark blue wafer coating with silver paste was then baked in aluminum. These would go to a drying furnace in front and back lines with automated tooling systems. Multi and mono solar cells, multi cells are darker, absorb more sun, and are more efficient. Silicon is dangerous. A large final room housed machine plates that mounted bar strips, bus bar, with tabbing ribbons and negative positive copper wire with silver coating. Then there were assembly soldering operations for the complete solar panels, which were then laminated, and cassettes were loaded into a matrix machine with roller knobs. Contained in soldered back matting is Dios wiring and label black caulking butyl. Current voltage testing, reading SPI Sun Simulator BP380U, the panels are cleaned, flashed, and boxed in argon at 23.8 degrees. NRE stands for National Renewable Energy. The cost of the solar system is directly proportional to how much energy you require. Small cabin systems start at a few thousand dollars. A large, typical household system could cost anywhere from 10000 to 40000 dollars. Clean power estimator equals evaluates and saved contact section to discuss design with a distributor. Array combo inverter utility kilowatts per hour meter. Currently prices are not economically feasible or comparable with power grid in most states. Some questions remain on my mind which I will ask them soon. What percentage of energy used to produce solar panels in the plant is provided by solar energy? Why is it taking so long to open more plants? And why do you now have a barbed wire fence around your entire facility?